Hey everyone, today I want to go over a concept that is a little weird, but really works for me, and it's about how I use my task manager as my read later service. So I know a lot of people use something like Pocket or Instapaper or something like that to keep a track of all the things they want to read online. And I think those are great and they work well for a lot of people, but they've never really clicked with me. They always seem like another place that I have to go. It's a thing that I have to keep track of, a thing I have to manage. And so inevitably, and I think a lot of people do this, I get a long list of articles that I just have never read, but I said that I'll read later and I never do. And because I am so ingrained in the task management, how I, I, I have things open basically all day, every day on all my devices, so I know what I'm supposed to be working on, I find it really useful to keep a project in here called Reading List. And so I can go in here, and what I have are just a bunch of things that I want to read. This first one's a movie, but in general, these are articles that I want to read. And so you can see a couple of these, I have dates on them, I have a history of items that I've read, so 300 or 239 items have been logged, and so I can go in here and kind of see all of the things that I've read before. And But these are the things that I haven't read yet. And so what I really like about this is you can kind of see there's stars next to these. These are things that I said I want to read today. And so I can just, you know, go into them and uh, just click into that to go to the article on the web. And so it's a really nice way for me to be able to keep these things, which effectively are to-dos, right? Your things on the reading list are things that you are going to do one day. You're telling yourself, I'm going to do this, just like any other task you put in your task manager. So I put them in here and it lets me make it so that I can kind of assign them to specific days. So I can say these two, I said I was gonna read today. This one, uh, this is a list of books that I wanna go through. Uh, I can do that on September 1st uh, because that's when I get my new Audible credits. So I'm gonna want a new book and I'm gonna to want to go here and find out what's there. So this will show up in my today view on the first. Uh, same with this on the fourth, uh, I think I'm gonna be ready for in my next book. And so here's a specific book that I wanna check out, uh, that I just learned about. So on the fourth, that'll show up. But yeah, you can kind of see how these are just tasks. And then when I'm done, I can just check it. And there we go, it's off my list, it's in my logged items, and then I can access it if I ever want to again, but it's off the list. And it's a, you know, a satisfying uh, checkbox that you can check off uh, for your day. And of course, this works with uh, any task manager. You can do it in OmniFocus. You can see those same articles here. Uh, OmniFocus lets you customize the look a little bit too, so you can make sure that you always get the links visible. Uh, it's kind of nice over things. Things doesn't show the link by default, uh, but with OmniFocus, you can do that. Um, and you can do it uh, with even Todoist. Uh, basically the, the big <laughs> GTD app out there. Uh, you can do that, so here they are all as well. And again, you can just click into each one and uh, and go to it. So that's kind of what I do. Uh, this is a very quick video. Just wanted to give you the idea that you could do this. You don't necessarily have to, but you could do it. And uh, I think it's a really cool way to kind of get a grip on your reading list and being able to assign them specifically, like assigning them as tasks to do on a specific day so you can spread your reading out. If you wanna read something by a certain date, you can do that. So it gives you a little more flexibility than you'd get from something like Pocket or Instapaper. So yeah, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching.